Oh, Batman, you made it on time. Thank goodness for the signal. It's not just a signal. It's a warning. Oh, um, I like your new belt, man. That's a really nice belt. It's not just a belt. It's a utility belt. Oh, um, oh, what about the guy next to you? He's not just a sidekick. Yeah, he's just a sidekick. Hello, the Batman fans. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. My name is Robin. You know what? I'll reveal it. I'm a dick. Grayson. The second trailer for the Batman has released, or as Warner Bros. is calling it, the Batman main trailer, where not only do we get some great footage of the Batman with Robert Pattinson in action, some of the villains, but wow, is this one of the most gorgeous trailers I have ever seen. Almost every other shot in this trailer is just absolutely captivating, but what I'm going to do here for you guys is giving you my trailer breakdown, pointing out Easter eggs you might have missed, stuff in the trailer that could help us speculate to what is going down in this Batman movie, but I'm gonna need you Batman fans to give me your opinions down below. What did you think of this second trailer for the Batman? Do you think it was better than the last trailer? Is this one of the trailers that changed your mind or are you someone who still is not on board for Robert Pattinson Batman? But to celebrate this glorious occasion, I will be giving away some Batarangs just like the one I have right here. Don't tell Batman I'm touching his stuff. I got three of these bad boys to give away some lucky people so make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below you want a Batarang. But now as we jump into the actual real trailer for the Batman, it opens up on a cafe where we have Paul Dano who plays the Riddler enjoying a little cup of coffee as a SWAT team starts to surround them. Now, I was obviously thinking this is probably the end of the movie when they catch the guy or whatever and he's just given up defeat, but there's something about the way they reveal his Riddler question mark in the coffee that makes me think this is probably the opening of the movie and for the majority of it, Riddler will be in prison as all these traps and riddle-like mysteries start appearing in Gotham and that's gonna make the movie even more compelling because it's like, how is he doing this if he's trapped in prison? Also worth pointing out here, you have Commissioner Gordon who at this point is Lieutenant Gordon, so he has not become commissioner yet. Wouldn't be surprised if the current commissioner is corrupt and by the end of this movie, they make this Gordon commissioner. From there, we cut to some scenes of the bat signal in this movie with a different version of the line than we were teased. There was a little DC fandom trailer that released earlier in the week in preparation for this trailer. It's not just a signal, it's a warning. Here they use a different line where they say it's not only a calling, but also it's a warning. So it's a mix up of that line. Maybe he actually does say both in the movie where it's not a call, it's not a signal, it's a warning. But I also love the line that Robert Pattinson's Batman says here that fear is a tool and he's gonna be using that to his advantage of being almost like the boogeyman of Gotham City, which I love for this version of Batman. From there we're treated to a sequence where Robert Pattinson's Batman is fighting again these goons that we saw in the first trailer. I'm curious to find out to who they belong to whether they're their own group, if they're working for the Riddler, if they're part of the Penguins crew. But one thing's for sure, we have to appreciate the way Robert Pattinson's Batman just walks out of the shadows because why does he look so damn amazing? And that's just one of the many shots from this trailer that is absolutely captivating. And it is during the sequence where we do get a taste of how durable this version of the bat suit is, where he can take a bullet in point blank range, having it not really phase him to the point that he can grab this goon and pin him to a pole, where then he electrocutes him, another gadget from his suit, where I guess his gloves just naturally have this little shock on it. And if you really notice the look Robert Pattinson's Batman gives to this goon, it's almost like he's finding pleasure in this pain and that's one thing comic book fans have joked around with Batman it's like he won't kill you but he'll put you in a position where you wish you were dead in the interview they were having before this trailer that Robert Pattinson was saying that Batman is almost taking every fight personal and taking out all his anger on these goons and I feel like you can really get a sense of that from the way he looks at this guy from there they cut to a scene where Batman is going to be talking to a prisoner now this most likely is Paul Dano's Riddler like I said gets arrested early on in the movie then all these things related to him happen and Batman Batman is so frustrated because it's like, you're locked up, how are you doing this? Finally join the stereotypical Batman of grunting and being angry while asking questions. Where are they? Why did you say that name? God! It's tradition, Batmans have to grunt and be angry. But now jumping on from here, if Paul Dano's Riddler is actually gonna be in prison the whole time and he just pre-set up a bunch of traps so then he can get locked up and be excused from all the crime happening because it's like, hey, I'm in here, how can I be doing it? I wouldn't be surprised if this Riddler gang he has are actually the people who are creating the traps and doing his dirty work for him. So it could be the reason that every time we see the Riddler with this mask, it might not even be the Riddler, but a bunch of goons who are doing his work for him 
and they're posing as the Riddler. I feel like that would explain why they went with a full covering mask. But from there, they cut to some shots of Selena Kyle, played by Zoe Kravitz, our Catwoman, with another amazing, gorgeous shot of Gotham City, where they're on top of a skyscraper, just like, this looks so good. We also get a really nice, clear shot of Andy Serkis's Alfred here. Now, if you saw some of the Legos and even look carefully at the way he walks here, he is walking with the cane. So this Alfred is a bit injured and has gone through some stuff. There are iterations in the comics where Alfred has actually been the one to train Batman since he was a special operative back in his day. I'm wondering if that's what they'll do here or maybe they'll explain that he got hurt somehow in helping Batman through his journeys. And I love you, Robert Pattinson, Batman. I don't think those glasses are for you, bruh. Now here is actually an interesting shot that I feel is happening in his Batcave. We learned from some Lego sets that Robert Pattinson's Batman cave will actually be built in underground abandoned subway systems. And that's actually a great explanation for how Batman is gonna be able to get to different parts of Gotham without being seen. Here we have different characters that have been killed off along with pictures of their crime scene. So you have Coulson, who he has marked right above, No More Lies, so that's most likely the guy who was duct taped with the words No More Lies. You have someone named Mitchell, and another character named Savage. Now Mitchell or Savage could be the person who shows up to the funeral with the bomb stretched attached to them. It also looks like one of them is going to be attached with the phrase renewal is a lie. And that just seems to me like another thing this Riddler will say to get rid of some of the corrupt politicians. But the big banger here that we're all staring at and wondering is right there it says the sins of my father. In the first trailer we got a line in the Batman. You're a part of this too. How am I part of this? You'll see. Where the Riddler told Robert Pattinson's Batman that you're a part of this too, and he's like, how am I a part of this? And now we know it's connected to his father, which seems to be like in this version of the Batman universe, the Waynes weren't so squeaky clean as we usually think. This could be linked to their eventual death in Gotham City and that it wasn't random, that maybe even Bruce Wayne's father, Thomas Wayne, was actually one of the corrupt people that made Gotham the dirty place it is, and the Riddler will be uncovering that and showing it to the Batman. Because I have to imagine a smart man like the Riddler has probably already figured out who is behind the mask. We get a quick shot of Robert Pattinson wearing the black makeup around his face. I still think this looks really awesome. From there, we cut to Catwoman and Batman chasing each other down a cemetery where Zoe Kravitz gets face to face with the Batman. And wow, like I wanted this Batman to have white eyes, but just how dark his face is, the white in his eyes actually give off that effect, especially when he looks up. We then cut to a scene where I believe this is taking place in the Penguins nightclub where Batman Batman is coming in to either stop some criminals, most likely the Penguin, or another trap that the Riddler is about to spring up, and we get some more amazing hand-to-hand -hand combat. But it was all made more amazing with this shot of Batman posting up to the Penguin and him just being like, hey, hey, calm down. And you know the boy's gonna be pissed that Batman crashed his nightclub, where we also see that Selena Kyle Catwoman with red hair is walking down this club as well, probably looking for the same thing that Batman is. More amazing landscape shots of Gotham City with Batman and Catwoman getting a little cozy with each other, but it looks like it might have been a trap because if you look while Catwoman is running off, there is a person right behind Batman kind of knocking him down and distracting him. So Catwoman will be really playing that line of do I like you or do I just need to get my own stuff done? Followed by an absolutely fantastic shot of Batman crashing down a building where there's an explosion happening. This looks something straight out of the Arkham Asylum games, honestly. And what was close to being my favorite sequence out of this entire trailer until we got that ending is we're going to be getting a scene where it's pitch black and Batman is going to be fighting goons and all we get for light is whenever guns go a blazing and you can see Batman just walking so casually as these guys are shooting him up and it's not even phasing him. That's gonna be an amazing hallway fight scenes and the creative stuff that I love Matt Reeves is doing. We finally get a look of Batman who's about to jump off a building that I believe is the police precinct for Gotham City. If you remember in the first trailer, there were shots of Batman kind of fighting a bunch of cops and getting upset. Now we know why, because he's so frustrated. The Riddler is doing all this stuff, but he's locked away in there. So he probably breaks into prison to get the Riddler out to try and figure out how do I stop this? Where he gets chased by the criminals to the top of the building and then he jumps off to glide through the city. This is a Batman that really is gonna be using a lot of gadgets, I love that. Almost as much as I love this muddy shot of Robert Pattinson Batman that just went through some hell. Ending it off with what was my favorite sequence out of this entire trailer when the Batmobile comes out chasing Colin Farrell's the Penguin, thinking that he blasted the Batman away, got rid of him, only for him to jump out of that fire, crash the Penguin's car, and then the most beautiful shot in a Batman movie I have ever seen, 
the Batman walking with fire behind him upside down as a POV from the Penguin? Give me this movie now. But that is some of the things I just caught in the Batman trailer. I really want to hear from you guys. Are there any things in here that you caught that I might have missed? What was your favorite sequence in the trailer? And don't forget to check out the other DC Fando video I'll be posting on the channel where it's just one big compilation of all the other reveals. But as always, my name's Chris. Take care.